because that was requested a lot. I think it's like my most requested video at the moment. And yeah, if you're new to this channel, then don't forget to subscribe and let's just hop right into this video. So I already opened Movie Maker, as you can see, and now I'm going to add all my videos. So now I've imported all my videos and I'm going to do all the basic stuff. So uh, when you have here at home, then I go to edit and I'm going to select all my videos. And then I just want to put the video volume down. Oh, as you can see, I already did that. And now I'm going to uh, cut out all the things that I don't want to have in my video. Uh, basically, just do all the basic stuff like trimming things and splitting things up. So, um, for example, I've got this video here. And I'm just going to watch it. And I want to start a bit later. So, for example, here. Then I click on set start point. And then, as you can see, I'm just moving here and stuff. And if you want to, um, like, split the video, then I click on split. And because I just don't want to have this piece of the video um, in the video, saying so many times video. But for example, I want to have it started like here. So now I'm going to click on set start point and then that piece of the video is cut out. So now I want to end it here, so I'm going to click on set endpoint. And that's basically what I'm going to do with all the videos. I'm going to check what I want to have in the video, keep all the good parts in it, and delete all the bad things. So I just cut all the parts that I didn't want to have in my video out. And as you can see, I also added the intro and the outro. And now I'm going to show you some other editing things. So I'm going to start with speed. So for example, I've got this clip here. And as you can see, I'm turning and I want to make that a little faster and then a little bit slower. So yeah, now I'm going to have a look at what do I want fast. I want to have this first part fast, so then I split the part of the video up. And then I go to speed and I choose two times. Uh, you just have to look what looks best for your video. So for example, I have two here and then I go a bit slower like sometimes I type like um, 0.7 times um, so then it goes a bit slower and then I want to have it again a bit normal or like 1.25 Yeah, that's what I always do with speed things, that's you, how you can do it, that's actually really easy. But what I just like to do is then first make it really fast, then a bit slower, and then just the normal um, speed. So now I've done that, I'm going to choose the best parts of my video that I want to put in the intro. Because of course the intro is really important uh, of your video, because that's like the first impression. So yeah, I'm going to have a look which parts I think are fun to put in the intro. So for example, I'm going to choose this, um, this clip, I'm going to copy this one, Ctrl C, and then I'm going to paste it here, Ctrl V, whoa, really beautiful face. <laughs> and yeah, that's what I'm going to do now. So now I've put all my favorite parts of the video here in the intro. Um, I'm going to edit them later with some music and stuff, but first I'm going to do something else, which is like adding the black screens beneath, um, in between the parts of the video, if you get what I mean. Uh, where it's a bit difficult to explain, but I'll show you. So um, here, like after the intro, I always have a, um, a part, a screen. Um, I'm going to show you. I always use this one. I made this one on pickmonkey.com. That's just really easy. You can easily edit things. So yeah, that was always what I put in front, uh, in between like the intro and my talk part. And I'm going to set it for like three seconds. And yeah, that's what I'm going to do. And what else? And also between like the last footage part and my outro, I'm also going to put a screen thing. 
So what I then do is I'm going to add a title. So here it's just black, you can add text, but that's not what I'm going to do. I'm just only use the black screen and I always do that for like one second. And I also do that after my um, outro. And then I'm going to add my end card. I also made this one on pickmonkey.com, just really easy, some, uh, some text, basically some essential things like social media and subscribe. I'm going, to vi I'm going to visual effects and then you have a bunch of visual effect things and I want to make it from black to, yeah, so I'm going to choose this one. Let's fade in from black, so I will show you how it looks. I have this clip here and then the next clip okay and that's what I'm going to do with all the new outfits so here as well I'm going to visual effects and then I'm going to choose this um, effect which is fade in from black okay so now I'm going to add my voiceover so you just have to go to record narration uh, do, you, do I say that right? <laughs> and then I click on this one and add sound. Okay, so now my voiceover is in this project and I have to split all the different parts up. So I'm just going to listen to uh, where I have to split the voiceover up. So I go to narration tools. So until here it stops and I click on split. I'm going to split the voiceover and I'm going to listen further until when I have to stop it again. So now I'm going to add some music, so I'm going to click on add music. So I just added a song to the project and so I'm going to have a look at what point of the song I want to start it. So just going to listen to it. Okay, so I want to have the starting point here, so I'm going to music tools and click on set start point. Okay, so what I like to do is to have also here a part of black screen or other kind of colored screen before you have like the drop of the song. So I'm going to add title and click on background color and I usually like to go for like a pinkish color, depends a bit on what I like. I'm just going to listen on how many seconds I need to put this title here. Okay, so now I've got all kind of different clips here in the intro, but they are all too long. Make sure you don't make your intro too long. So I'm just going to cut some parts of these clips out. You guys also ask quite a lot how I do that um, colored effect. So you just have to go to visual effects. I'm already here now. So for example, I want to have it here. And then I click on split. And I want to have this part of the video in that colored effect. Go to visual effects and then click on this button. Then you have a bunch of effects like I already showed you. And then you have to click on this one. This is one. Um, and then you have this colored effect. What I also do sometimes in the, in, in the intro of my videos is, um, is this effect. So for example, I have this part where I go fast. I'm going to split that in some pieces. And then I'm going to select those pieces and I'm again going to visual effects and then I do this one fade in from black and then it will look like this okay so now I'm going to add some other music to the rest of the video yeah that's all the music the last thing what I'm going to do is add some text to my video so I'm going to start um, here in the intro where I want to have it say uh, winter outfits, going to choose um, a text caption and I click and I'm just going to type winter outfits so. and then I just have to change the font. Uh, by the way on the fonts.com you can find all kind of different fonts. So now I've got this and I always like to put an outline around it. So you just have to click an outline size, then I do like medium or narrow and then I can choose a color here. You can also choose more colors, but I usually like to do um, black or dark blue. You can also add an effect to the text. So um, I'm going to choose this one. It's called swing down. 
and I want to have the text for like three seconds or 2.3 yes and then I'm just going to look if that's all right now I'm also going to add some text here so I do again caption then for this part I always use um, this font always in my heart it's yeah it's called always in my heart it has like this heart here which I really like so I'm going to type little world of Elena here and then I bring that to 90 um, I'm going to put that in the middle and I'm going to make it black so it will look something like this yes this looks alright and then again I'm adding an effect to the text I use this one swing down and yeah now I'm going to add some more text so here for when I'm talking I always like to add some text like uh, my social media things so again caption and then Instagram Twitter snapchat all those things and I'm going to add some more text because of course I'm doing outfits for this video um, so I want to show you um, where I got all these clothes so for example here I'm going to add a caption I'm going to write cardigan um, cardigan and then where's it from? it's from Primark so I'm going to do that So now I'm totally done with editing the video and I'm just going to watch the video again and see if there are any um, incorrect things that I want to change and after that I'm just going to save my project so going to save it for high definition display Now I just have to wait until the video is saved and then I can upload it to YouTube So that was the video for today and I hope that you all enjoyed it and it helped you out to edit your videos in Windows Movie Maker. If you did, then give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you're not already. If you have any other video requests, and I would love to know that, just comment down below and I see you in my next video.